All right, so today we're gonna be testing out my new Marzaki Bomber Z2 fork. I just put it on my bike yesterday. It's looking pretty steezy. It's got 140 mil travel and uh, it's basically like an older Fox fork. It's got the rail damper and uh, retails for about $520. I was able to get it pretty easily. It took about a month. It was on back order, but I placed my back order pretty much right as it went to back order and got it in time for Christmas. So that was pretty cool. And I decided to go with the bolder choice of the red, which I don't know, for some reason, I just kind of think it looks cool. It doesn't really match, but I thought it'd be cool to kind of have it stand out. In addition to that, I got these new HS2 SRAM rotors that are 180 mil and they're thicker than the previous centerline rotors. They've got some kind of uh, thermal dissipating heat paint on it, like on this uh, darker spot here. The rotor itself is now two millimeters thick and the track pad is a different shape. They claim 7% more power than the regular centerline rotors with the G2 brakes. I'm running code R's currently and I definitely have to bed them in still. They're not really biting yet, but this ride is just gonna be a little bit of a shakedown to test out the fork and bed in the rotors and see if I can notice any real difference. So let's get to it. We're at Overton today. We've been having a lot of rain and this place always holds up well after some water. So I set up the fork just with the baseline settings. I believe I've got 70 PSI in the fork, which is a little bit higher than it actually recommends for my weight. Although I guess with my riding gear on, it's it should be good and then uh, it feels very soft initially but I don't know if that's just because of how I'm used to rock shocks feeling a bit firmer off the top like I can already feel the small bump is is better on this fork. Ooh. I also uh, set up the rebound pretty much in the middle for now. Oh, that was almost a bottom out. I think actually I'm gonna add some air. I mean, look at that. I almost used full travel, probably did off that little weird drop and that wasn't more than two feet max I landed pretty sketchy on it too We're about 60 68 or so ah it says like 68 would be for about 150 pounds i'm gonna actually go up to like 75 or so see if that helps out the good thing is that this came with some volume spacers so if i am blowing through the travel i can add them out of the box basically which is nice because that definitely didn't come with the rock shocks gold uh 35 gold rl that i had which is basically the direct competitor to this Marzaki. And that's why I decided to buy it, honestly, is because it looked cool, it was a decent price, and I could make that comparison video for you guys at some point, hopefully. Or at the very least, I'll make a review video of this fork and talk about it. So now I'm back to 140 mil up front, like I used to with the 35 gold uh, RockShox fork. So, Definitely the front end is higher than it was before or about when it, I had that fork, but I've been riding Dan's Pike for a year now and that was a bit lower 130 mil and a little bit less stack height So I got to remember that it's gonna corner a bit differently
right, so for a first ride, I'm pretty impressed with this Bomber Z2 fork. It definitely needs a volume spacer, I think, maybe two. So I'll have to fiddle around with that and hopefully the installation is nice and smooth. They came in the box, so hopefully it should be quick. And then I think I'll be able to lower the air pressure back down a little bit and I should kind of get that progressivity that I want. Also, the new SRAM HS2 rotors I really like. I think they look sick and uh, they already seem to be feeling a bit stronger. I've been running the centerline rotors on this bike since I got it. So easily several thousand miles on these one pair of rotors. And I was like, oh, my brakes kind of feel like they could use a bleed. But then I put these new rotors on and, you know, made the bite point way closer. So it basically felt like I did a bleed. And uh, I think it'll only get better as I bed them in more. So pretty stoked on that. And I think I'll just keep dialing it in over time. Get some more rides in. Unfortunately, we got some snow and ice going on right now, so we haven't been able to ride too much, but I'm looking forward to it, and thanks for watching, and remember, stay adventure, my friends.